Good morning. Uh, I'm Gaetan. I'm the U.S. Uh, Deep Propellers uh, U.S. Branch Operation uh, Manager over here. And uh, today uh, we're meeting with uh, a couple of customers uh, that have built their wonderful and a beautiful, uh, one of the most exquisite S uh, Rans S21 that I've ever met, that I've ever seen. Uh, so, gentlemen, uh, could you go ahead and introduce yourself, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, Gaetan, I'm Randy Larson. Uh, I'm the owner and builder of record for the Rans S21. I'm Bob Olinger. Uh, I helped Randy with the build and uh, a lot of experience in aviation. So, we, uh, I think we did a pretty good job. So, um, Randy, let's talk about, uh, we met, uh, I believe, uh, three, four years ago right. when uh, uh, this was just a thought. Uh, you had ordered the kit, and uh, I was, back in the day, I was trying to sell you a different propeller. Uh, so, um, tell us a little bit more about your aircraft, about your build, how long it took, uh, what you learned from it, and uh, uh, go ahead and tell, tell us a, a little bit more about your, uh, your aircraft. All right, well, sure. Answer. Sure. So this is my first build. Uh, my background is civil engineering. I'm retired now. So while aviation was never anything that I had knowledge of, having that engineering background made the learning curve a little, little bit easier. And then on top of that, of course, I had my neighbor, Bob, who is an AMP. I don't believe I would have taken on this project had I not had that expertise to lean on during the build. Um, bought the kit to uh, Almost three years ago, had to wait a long time to get it, a long time to get the engine. When we finally got started, it took uh, 18 months and roughly 900 hours. I kept a pretty detailed log on EAA's website. But uh, so far, uh, you know, knock on wood, there hasn't been any, uh, any issues at all. Okay. Uh, Bob, uh, as you can see on this particular aircraft, there's a lot of details. You know, everything, it's very precise. <coughs> Uh, everything is buttoned up, you know. Uh, what was the process of, uh, wh what did it take to have such a well-built uh, built aircraft? Well, as in, with everything in aviation, we strive for perfection. Did we ever achieve that? Probably not. But as long as you have that goal in sight, you just do the best job you possibly can to make everything as neat and nice and precise as, as you possibly can. It's a bit frustrating at times, but the end product uh, you, is worth it. It's yeah. worth it. Yeah. I, I think I drove him nuts because I'm a little anal with the engineering background, and I, I think I kind of drove him crazy sometimes. That, that's just to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so gentlemen, uh, one of the reasons why we're actually uh, standing in front of this airplane is because he has a... Uh, uh, a uh, different prop from what you uh, usually right. see on the uh, Titan uh, powered uh, Rans S21. Uh, why did you uh, decide to go with the uh, Redux uh, Cobra? Well, it, you know, mostly it was uh, my introduction to you, you know, and you're close. You're part of my Duke is a very active member of our EAA chapter. And uh, was given the opportunity to give it a try and haven't looked back. And I think the experience that I've had the last week with you folks on trying different combinations and different numbers of blades and different pitches has just been a real testament to the dedication that Duke brings to their customers. Okay. Uh, and as far as performance, uh, how satisfied or uh, how happy are you uh, with uh, the performance of this particular uh, propeller? Compare, I mean, to uh, what you uh, previously had, what came with the kit, which was a two-blade whirlwind. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting a better top-end performance, and I'm certainly getting uh, a better takeoff performance, better climb. Uh, it, it's, uh, we, we're probably still going to do some tweaking, because that's what engineers do, and that's what we do in the experimental uh, aviation group. But uh, I'm, I'm very satisfied with it. I think I've got every bit the performance of a whirlwind, if not, if not better right now. And we've got more tweaking to do. Okay. So uh, I wanted to ask you as far as uh, two blade versus three blade, you know, uh, this is uh, a debate that's uh, never been settled in aviation. Uh, and having flown both of them, and Bob, especially counting on your experience as an AMP and uh, having flown, having thousands and thousands an hour on, F uh, on, on, air, on aircraft, What's your prefer your preference between the two blade and the three blade? Um, 
How do we settle this debate? Well, it's a difficult debate to settle, number one. But the uh, I, I think with this particular propeller, uh, it, it's kind of the best of both worlds. It's uh, it's an extremely smooth propeller. Yeah. Right. And it, but it also doesn't have the sacrifice that you normally see with uh, with a two blade versus a three blade. Uh, you are getting we're getting very very good top end with it, top speed with it, but uh, not sacrificing the takeoff and, and the climb. So it's it's a yeah. pretty good compromise. Uh, the best I can tell, it, it is not exhibiting the the ill effects that you normally. Uh, you know, you see with the three blade prop. Yeah, because uh, talking about the speed, uh, the cruise speed, uh, I know wide open throttle, we are just splitting air because it's yeah. very close or almost equal uh, to the two blade, the traditional two blade whirlwind. Uh, and um, my experience also, what I want to bring to, to the attention of our viewers that we experience uh, different uh, diameters of propellers. And uh, we ended up with a smaller uh, diameter. And I want to take this opportunity to thank you for making this airframe. And first of all, for building and building this wonderful airplane, and also for making this airframe available for us to be able to uh, uh, to share different uh, combination of propeller, two, three blade, and different diameters. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, is there a takeaway uh, from uh, this uh, whole testing uh, thing with the Duke team? Well, yeah, I, I I have been completely impressed with the professionalism of the Duke team. I mean, this past week, we've had the owner, the owner's son, the chief engineer, the head of operations for North America. I mean, what? <laughs> you can't get any better service than that. Uh, so if you're thinking about a Duke propeller, this is the place to be. All right. Last one from you, Bob. No, I, th I think that uh, kind of goes without saying that uh, in, in this particular event, uh, the support from the Duke factory and the, all the Duke personnel has been exemplary. And... Uh, like to piggyback on Randy and the customer service from Duke is is phenomenal and yep. you, you couldn't ask for better. All right, folks. Um, if uh, you have an S21, you're building an S21, S21, you're thinking about building one, we have the perfect propeller for you and soon to be available in uh, constant speed, full electric constant speed for the Titan engines. We already have one for those that I like to go with the road tax. So uh, give us a call. We'll be happy to help you and uh, we'll be happy to put it on for you. All you have to do is fly your plane to our operation here in uh, Sebring and uh, we can put it on for you and dial it in and uh, you, uh, you can fly home. Thank you very much.